Hey everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. We are doing another update. I have the update for my Pan That palette for 2021, which is something that I started in November to give myself just a hint more time to use up because I didn't actually select a Pan That palette in 2020. So um, I am talking about my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. These are all singles. I am not trying to pan every single thing in this entire palette. I do want to get a lot of use and I want to see the grams going down. That's sort of like my main thing is seeing that I'm actually using these things. So the first one is the like regular, the regular shades. So not like the fun foiled metallic, whatever those ones. Um, this is the first palette I have two. The first one is the one, this is the focused palette. This is the one that I want to make the most, um, progress on and so I started this one off at 310 grams uh, so November and December it didn't change nothing changed um, the end of January I now have uh, a total of 309 grams so I actually finally saw some usage on this palette things are moving the product is going down it makes me super super happy um, and I also have a teeny tiny itty bitty bit of pan in that shade I'm going to actually grab my um flashlight and i can show you if i if you can see that i don't even know will it show you i think you can see it right there <laughs> little tiny teeny tiny pan in that eyeshadow so the first two shadows this one here is shimma shimma this one is i always forget it's beaches and cream and I was going to say that, but, <laughs> but that's the one I have a little teeny tiny bit of pan in just a tiny dot in there. And so it makes me so happy because that means I'm using these things. My next goal would be to get a tiny bit of pan in this one. This shade is creme brulee. And then I just want to see movement. I want to see a little bit of dips. I want it to look a little messy and a little used. Um, so I really have been getting a lot of use of Bitten, but of course that's one of my favorite shades. I'm also trying to use Razzleberry, which is this one right here. Um, it has a lot of glitter in it, which I don't love exactly, um, but I'm still trying to use it. And I found out, of course, you guys know in my last update, this one right here is like my new very favorite crease shade. It's so pretty. It's just like just the perfect warm like pinkish um, nude or not nude shade but crease shade and I really really enjoy it but I will be very honest I haven't used these so much except for Razzleberry um poison not poison what did I just call this bitten oh my gosh I just called it that anyways um, and then the top four and a little bit of corrupt those are the ones that i mostly use all the time um with all the other eyeshadow palettes and stuff that i use these are the ones that i pretty much gravitate toward so i really need to start using some of the other ones and make it a point of using those a little bit more so that'll be something that i'm focusing on within the next month and then the next one is this one here which is the bonus palette this is just something i'm keeping track of to see um i want to get a bit of grams gone i want to know that i'm actually using this and i don't want to sit there and count how many times i'm using it i just cannot do that so this is the one that i really want to sort of focus on the gram weight and see at least a couple of grams go down. I use these more so for like inner corner or brow bone highlights and sometimes I use all of our lid shades but it's very rare that I gravitate toward this and it's crazy because these are such amazing really fun eyeshadows. Um, like these ones have like duochrome effect like pearlized iridescent -y looks and then this one over here these are all foiled so they're really metallic and shimmery. I'll give you an example like this one right here, it's so pretty, but you probably can't really see the crazy shift, but I can see the shift in person of like, it's a bit of like a peach to a gold. And then we have this like really nice purple one, which is almost like a, again, a pearlized purple to sort of like a shiny lilac shade. You can see that one a little bit better, but they're really great eyeshadows. It's just, I just forget to use them. And that's so ridiculous because 
they're really great eyeshadows. Why wouldn't I want to use something fun? Um, so anyways, it was at 321 grams when I started and it is still at 321 grams and I'm very disappointed in that. So these two palettes are going to be um, something that I use. I want to at least try and use them like 10 times if I remember. Um, I have a lot of other goals, especially like the one that I'm wearing on my eyes for my tiny pans. I want to use that one up as fast as I can in 2021. And then I have, of course, these ones I want to get to as well. So uh, that is my update for the Makeup Geek section of the Pan Those Eyeshadows or Pan That Palette. Um, really hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know if you have uh, eyeshadows in your collection that you absolutely love, but you totally forget to use or just don't use because you don't want to use them up. We all know we do that. We all do that. We buy something and it's so beautiful and you don't want to use it because it's so beautiful and you don't want to have to replace it or you can't replace it. I know we all do that. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of that. I'm really trying to like enjoy the things that are wonderful in my collection and get use of the stuff I love because why did I buy it and it's so fantastic if I'm not going to use it it's so dumb so I really need to work on that it's really something that I struggle with so let me know down below what that item in your collection is let me know if you've enjoyed this so far and what you think I could do to sort of encourage myself to use them don't forget to give it a like any thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later bye